Richmond made four changes to face Carlton, including Irishman Jamie O'Reilly and David Gordas, bringing to 11 the number of Richmond debutants for the season. Carlton coach Brett Ratton called for the Blues to back up the effort and ferocity shown in the demolition of Essendon last weekend to maintain their spot in the top eight. Daniel Jackson got the Tigers on the board before Jeff Garlett missed a sitter from in front before sailing one through from the boundary. There you go. There you go. That's a goal. Lockie Henderson won a marking contest from which he kicked Carlton's second major, enough to make Richmond's Brett Delidio believe Lockie worked up a lather. But there's no, you're not allowed any contact to the face. He was just wiping a bit of sweat yeah, off. He was sweat off, being so, a good uh, Samaritan. Carlton had ten scoring shots to three, but the Tigers got within two goals when Jake King shook off his rivals. At the back of the pack, here's King. Oh, just uh, changed his mind at the last minute, but still gets the goal in the end for Richmond. The Blues engine room hummed into action to put last weekend's six-goal star in prime position. Betts and Judd combine. Judd tries to bring it back. That was a clever kick, and Garlett kicks the goal. Henderson continued Carlton's scoring dominance, then Richard Hadley kicked his first goal of the season. He just drives it deep to the goal square, beyond the goal line. It's a goal. What a beauty from Richard Hadley. Sean Griggs seemed to swipe the shaving cream left on Jackson's chin, while Heath Scotland carried Carlton's score into the 50s. It's coming back with the breeze. It's a goal. Ben Cousins struggled to get off the field in a hurry, but returned soon after as the Blues bamboozled the Tigers, kicking seven goals for to just one behind for the quarter. Another goal. Henderson's got it. At half-time, Carlton led Richmond 72-15. The Blues opened the season with a 56-point thrashing of Richmond, and this encounter was heading the same way, with Eddie Betts, Jared Waite and Chris Judd knocking in goals before Jack Revolt stopped the rot. Jack Revolt on top of the Coleman medal has kicked the goal. The Tigers struck their best scoring period and even on one leg, Cousins got among the scorers. Cousins, yes! Jaden Post showed strength up front and he converted it into Richmond's fourth straight major. Keep going at this rate, they can win the game. Waite bruised the advertising sign before curling in his third goal to kick Carlton past the century mark. Jared Waite's kicked two goals. He can make that three. 54 points clear at the final change. Carlton moved ahead when Waite and Garlett found little resistance before Robert Warnock timed his run well. Ah, oh, big mark to Robbie Warnock. Can he capitalise? He can indeed. While Carlton was in the comfort zone, Richmond pinched a pair of goals through Dustin Martin and Ben Mason before Jordan Russell became the Blues' 11th individual goal kicker. Target Robinson, well done Collins at the back. Oh, just waiting at the back was Russell from 30 metres. He pops it through, another one. Jack Revolt moved to 68 goals, three clear of Barry Hall in the race for the Coleman medal, while Scotland charged into action. Scotland now can run to the front of the centre square. He can go all the way, he's Scotland from out. Just inside 50, he kicks a beauty. Eight goals for the Blues in the final quarter, as Carlton shored up its finals chances, running away from Richmond to win 156-67. to 67. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.